So what's up guys and for today's video we're gonna talk about the 9 ships at sea that every maritime student should know. So before I get started to the main purpose of this video, I have a one and only question for you. Is boat considered as a vessel at sea? So if you know the answer, please comment down below and put hashtag stylish marine. So without further ado, roll intro. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. They think gonna sleep this night. Try to catch me howling at the moon. What's up guys, my name is Carlo Mark Villarba and welcome to Stylish Marine. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. Container Ships So how does the container ships work in simple explanation? Container ships has a steel box that you can see in the railroad or in a ship and this is a typical shipping container and also they use to shipping all kinds of things from foods to shoes, from computers and flammable hazardous materials. With container shipping, anyone can transport their cargo from point A to point B. In the container shipping industry, there are three main stakeholders involved. The importer who wants to receive the cargo from another country. The exporter who wants to sell and send the cargo to the importer. The shipping company who delivers the cargo by receiving it from the exporter and sending it to the importer. So this means these containers occupy slots on a container ship and these ships are designed only just to carry containers. 2. General Cargo Ships So how does a general cargo ship work in summary? Any kind of ship or any other vessels that transport heavy goods and materials from one port to another is called a cargo ship. But general cargo ship vessels mostly carry in package form of packaged goods like goods, footwear, garments, chemicals, machinery, furniture, and motor vehicles, etc. But not carried inside the container, but in a package form only. 3. Chemical tanker ship. So what is chemical tanker ship? A chemical tanker ship is a type of tanker ship designed to transport chemicals in bulk. Chemical tankers are ship constructed to carry a cargo of noxious liquid substances in bulk. 4. Liquefied natural gas carrier. So what is liquefied natural gas carrier or LNG? An LNG carrier is a tank ship designed for transporting liquefied natural gas LNG. A typical LNG carrier has 4 to 6 tanks located along the center line of the vessel. Natural gas from which impurities like sulfur and carbon dioxide have been removed is called liquefied natural gas. Fifth, Roro ships. So how does the Roro ships work? A roll-on roll-off Roro ships are cargo ships that designed to carry wheeled cargo such as cars, trucks, semi-trailer trucks, trailers, and railroad cars that are driven on and off the ship on their own wheel or using a platform vehicle such as a self-propelled modular transporter. With Roro shipping, the car owner is not allowed to ship their personal belongings along with the car. 6. Bulk Carrier So how does the bulk carrier works? These vessels are single-deckers and they are not able to load containers. Some bulk carriers are geared 
meaning that usually a crane is located between each hatch to allow the loading and unloading of cargo at berths. Their hatches have very large openings and the holds are unrestricted and free of obstacles so that the vessels to be loaded and discharged quickly. A bulk carrier, Bulker, is a merchant ship especially designed to transport and package bulk cargo, such as grains, coal, ore, steel coils, and cement in its cargo holds. 7. Crude Oil Tankers So how does the crude oil tankers work? An oil tanker is also known as a petroleum tanker is a ship designed for the bulk transport of oil and its products. There are two basic types of oil tankers, the crude oil tankers and the product tankers. Crude oil tankers move large quantities of unrefined oil from its points of extraction to refineries. A. Passenger ships. So how does the passenger ships work? Passenger ships, as the name suggests, are mainly used for transiting passengers or people. They are mainly classified into ferries and cruise ships. Ferries are vessels used for transiting passengers and vehicles. On short distance routes are called ferries. Cruise ships, cruise ships are mainly used for recreational activities. Cruise ships are like luxurious floating hotels and state-of-the-art facilities. And the last one, 9. Naval ships. So how does the naval ships work? Naval ships designed primarily for naval warfare are termed warships, as opposed to support auxiliary ships or shipyard operations. A naval ship is a military ship or sometimes boat, depending on a classification used by a navy. Generally, naval ships are damage resilient or armed with weapon systems. So that's all the 9 ships at sea that every maritime student should know. There are a lot of ships at sea but I only tackle the most common ships that every seaman will get on board nowadays as a BS Marine Transportation or BS Marine Engineering. So I hope you have learned a lot about this video guys and as a friendly reminder to all the people our future next generation seafarers and every maritime students out there that patience, hard working, self-discipline, and wait until you become is the key of success. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Try to catch me howling at the moon.